Hey guys, it's Chrisula here and welcome to my first YouTube video, the dorm tour of 610 Huntington Avenue at Wentworth Institute of Technology. Um, before I start, just a little disclaimer, we are in COVID times right now, so normally there would be six people living in the suite, but this year we had three people in the first semester and in the second semester now we only just have two of us. So let's start from outside. This is what the hallway looks like. We're room 413 and most of the rooms in 610 are just like mirrored versions of ours when it comes to the layout. So you enter in here and first thing you see is the common room. Um, we had a rug first semester, definitely um, should get one. It, it made the place look way cozier. Um, it just comes with the furniture. So we added like the pillows and the blankets and stuff. But if you come over here, we have like a little bookshelf. We had a TV up there too. Um, lots of pictures everywhere. Um, if you come over here, they have two extra shelves here. Hi. Um, we took one of them, turned it into a little coffee table for the sofa. And then this one is our little coffee station. Um, this is our view. So we see Baker across from us. And then the little in-between Baker and 610. And you can see the leopard statue from out in here too. It's a pretty nice place. Um, also, when you walk into the left, you have the pantry here. First semester, we actually had a curtain rod and a curtain hanging from it. Definitely recommend getting that too. It just makes the whole room look a little nicer. You don't really see the messiness of the pantry. Um, and then the kitchen table, of course. Um, doesn't come with a tablecloth, but we just threw something on there just so it would be easier to clean up messes. Um, a little shoe shoe um, thing, shoe rack, I don't know what to call it, but for when it's like raining, snowing, you don't want to like track mud in. Um, you turn to the right and you got our kitchen here. It is a little small, there's not that much counter space, but we use the kitchen table a lot sometimes if we need extra room to like cut stuff up. Um, definitely recommend getting a toaster oven even though you have like a normal oven, sometimes it's a little temperamental. Um, we got the microwave, which is ours, uh, you have to bring it. Um, the sink is nice, it's got a disposal. And then you have to bring your own um, dish rack as well. But there's a lot of cabinet space, which is really nice. Um, most of them aren't completely full, so that's nice. It kind of makes up for the counter space. Then you got a full fridge and freezer, which is also like super nice, because you know, you get your own kitchen. You don't realize how much you end up getting and eating. Um, when you get into the first room, this is mine, and it's the end of the semester, the last few weeks, so there's no um, possibility of me getting a roommate in, so I decided to push my beds together. So I have a mega bed right now, and then a mega desk, which is like so awesome. Um, just like to give you an idea of how big the space is. Um, then each room with the two desks comes with these two wardrobes, which have a lot of space in there actually, and the drawers, the two bottom ones are very, very deep, and it's very wide in general, so it fits a lot more than you would think. Um, let's see. Also, um, the, this is the normal height of the beds that they come at, and it's perfect for fitting like these tubs and like my shoe rack underneath, but if you want to lift them up higher, you definitely can. You can fit higher things like, like these and, and more stuff under it if you have a roommate. Again, same kind of basic view. You see like the leopard statue. It's pretty nice. Then moving on. Um, the next bedroom is locked right now since there's no one in there. But this is the bathroom. Hi there. You get two sinks. And then two toilets, two showers, so obviously this will be split up between um, the six people that are normally in the suite, but they're really nice. And the water warms up so quickly in the shower, which is awesome. And there's a cleaning lady that comes once a week, so you don't have to worry about cleaning the toilets and the showers. Um, but you do have to bring your own toilet paper, paper towels, and soap, stuff like that. Then the last room here. This is Laura's Hello. room. Hello. Hello, Cthulhu. Hi. <laughs> this is what the room looks like if there's a lofted bed in it. So this is how this room came. And the lofted bed gets this really cool um, desk, which is bigger than like the normal desks. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, also, you can adjust the height of this if you need more room. And then here's the second bed. 
same kind of view, and then the two dressers. All right. Yeah, so this is basically 610 Huntington Avenue. And uh, this, this middle room, it has the same layout that mine did. Um, I'm thinking of making another video of some college essentials that I think are very important for um, students and specifically upperclassmen, like things that I ended up getting um, while I was living here just to make things easier. Um, just let me know if you like this video, like it, comment, do whatever. Um, I'm just doing this because I remember wishing that I had a little more intel into what it would be like living in this building. So let me know if this helps. Thank you.